ก็จะนำมาเรียนเกี่ยวกับโซนอะไรเชิดดูดีเลยชัวร์ชอบจีดูแต่เนี่ยมาดูท่านชอบเอ๊ะอันนั้นจะกี่วันชงดังจินบีเกี่ยวกับลำดีแต่ดูดีเชนเดี๋ยวไม่เป็นละถ้าเกี่ยวกับชิมบีลำดีเดี๋ยวเก็บไปเชนเดี๋ยวแค่สิ่งนั้นเองนั้นเก็บไปสิสุดยอดเลยสวัสดีทุกคน continuing from this morning This morning, we looked at a brief presentation in this text of the lesser and intermediate paths, and now we come to the presentation of the greater path or the path of the greater individual, which occupies the greater portion of the text. That's it. จุดังกี้กิบชงเงินเดอะไรละเอ่อกิบชงเดอเงี้ยสุสุกี้ตรงนี้เรจีเนี่ยตัดดิบปงเอกอนเนี่ยกิบชงเงินเดเตมีมาเลยตอนนี้กิบชงเงินตัดจุดังกี้ยามเนี่ยมองมองบุษย์วีเนี่ยตัดเทียบจุดกี้กิบชงเงินกลางตัดชั่วบัดชาร์ดเตมีมาเลย다들은기본중기남대시숨기다시부숨사는다컴숨사는다다너는커와디동동해외라시인바동해외라시인바아지대네안다타바된냐근데그건기본중기남대민바래서다기본신별남대동네니지송도주배관네เดี๋ยวนี้สิบเดือนชีวิตท่านยังเรียนเชื่อเกี่ยวเอ่อทำใจเก็บเป็นของพันธุ์ทั้งหลายที่เกี่ยวกับเรื่องนี้ In this text, the path of the lesser individual or the lesser path is presented as fundamentally the abandonment of all wrongdoing, motivated by fear of the suffering of lower rebirth. In detail, there are a lot of aspects or practices to this path, but here that is what is presented about it. Correspondingly, the intermediate path is presented as the path of someone who seeks liberation from all of samsara, because they recognize that all of the three realms or three levels of existence, in short, all of samsara, are states of suffering. In contrast to that, the greater path. Is seeking the achievement of omniscience, a state of Buddhahood that is beyond both samsara and nirvana, through a path that is the integration of emptiness and compassion. Ah, then we give you some lamb there, but then I under the sense of meaning you. How about that? Somebody just showed us some gear, right? You are trying to get some meaning. Gombasad. Dezeni yores. Then if some of that tambo, dezen tambo, some of the church of the same given. Deleyan. Yawa chev yimina. Ni yon de yore. Tambo de. Kunzu chenju gisem gomba tang. Ni ba de tenam chenju gisem gomba. Na jimbal ni yon de yore. The presentation of the greater path here is divided into two phases. The first of which is the presentation of the vast intention of bodhicitta, and bodhicitta itself is presented in two sections: the cultivation of relative bodhicitta and the cultivation of absolute bodhicitta. Then you know that I'm going to send you the same guamadi. เงี้ยอะไรกูจะเสนอเกี่ยวกับเส้นกองไปแต่บัตรเลี้ยงเดี๋ยวจะเข้าใจชั่วโลกนี้อะไรเท่าไหร
The presentation with which we begin this afternoon is the presentation of the cultivation of relative bodhicitta, which occupies two stanzas. These are both found on page 24. These are stanza 10 and stanza 11. Stanza 10 says, from, be- <clears throat> from beginningless time, my mothers have loved me. If they suffer, how can I worry about my own happiness? Therefore, in order to liberate sentient beings who are boundless, who are infinite, to give rise to bodhicitta is the practice of a bodhisattva. And then stanza 11 reads, All suffering, without exception, arises from the desire for one's own happiness. Perfect Buddhahood comes from... Um, the wish to benefit others. Therefore, it is the practice of a bodhisattva to completely exchange one's own happiness for others' suffering. Jenna, Shuloka, Hamudigi, Tan Yamsha, Gobs, and Rando, Yana, Arazuzi, Pa, Tun Dene, G, Tung in Nangulia, Arazuzi. Yamnichi Tendeji What's described, starting with the uh, the tenth stanza, is how we cultivate uh, relative bodhicitta in actual meditation uh, practice. The stages which culminate with the ability uh, to exchange oneself for others. This begins with. Um, using reasoning and reminding oneself of the many reasons for finding beings, all of whom have been one's loving mother and so forth, for finding beings uh, pleasing. And one cultivates this attitude of finding beings worthy of affection until it culminates in great impartial love. Then on that basis one cultivates the desire to freedom from suffering, free them from suffering, which is compassion, and this culminates in the readiness or ability to actually exchange one's own happiness or well-being uh, for the suffering of others. Gajore Catavia, 
ဟိုကဘချုံစွစွိနေတာကြီးပဲထတိတော့ရဲ့ဘီမိနာအဲ့နေ့ဒီတို့ဘာကြီးပဲဆိုတော့ဂျယ်လန်းချာဂျက်
And then stanza 13, should someone sever my head, even though I did not do the slightest wrong, through the power of compassion to take on their misdeeds to oneself is the practice of a bodhisattva. This describes the situation of suffering physical pain through the aggression of another. And then the uh, stanza 14, even if some should proclaim unpleasant things about me throughout the billion worlds of the universe, with a mind of loving kindness to speak only of their qualities in return is the practice of a bodhisattva, describes um, the appropriate response to the third undesirable, which is uh, calumny or, or libel or slander. And then stanza 15, even if several people in the midst of a crowd should reveal my hidden faults and speak harsh words to me, holding them to, my, to be my spiritual friends, I will, to bow to them with respect is the practice of a bodhisattva, describes uh, how to take criticism or verbal abuse uh, on the path. <laughs> Chimmy Usually in the world, uh, we are extremely attached to praise and averse to disrespect attached to profit and at first to loss, attached to pleasure and averse to pain. And we want all the things that we are so attached to very, very much. What's being taught here is to be without particular craving uh, for these things. Now, the words are easy to understand, but it's somewhat hard to put them into practice. The point is that in order to pursue the bodhisattva path effectively, we must be able to no longer make a big deal out of temporary or present experiences of pleasure and pain. In that sense, the bodhisattva training is difficult. It requires a great deal of courage and a great deal of confidence. On the other hand, these, this courage and this confidence don't arise out of nothing. They come through gradual training. It's not the case that just because we adopt the Mahayana Dharma as a religion that we should expect ourselves on the spot to become courageous bodhisattvas. We have to put ourselves through the process 
of training and study. Tadi jelea sega ni lam tu kaya ni mana? Sebar kau ni, sebar kau ni lam tu kaya jelea. Tene, seorang ni ni tu jodoh benar la le. Seorang tu jodoh ba. Tak pun pusing, cebu jangan bimbi. Dalam dah sih tahu tu cina. Negeri tak pun pulau masih tu. Habar tu aja selang ni. Jodoh ba. Jangan dah nyam ba, mungkin kau ini aje orang ini tu cina. Lama sih tu kibet tu ni, jodoh ni apa aja selang ni. Tadi ke, seorang tu tangguh tinggi. Cile, long jaya sama tu. Cile, lapan jaya. Di ke, cengkeh di lama tu kaya cina. Nibadi, rancle membesa semar betah cik, rancle jorba membayi nanti, yunde membayi nanti, tadi dia kibe kasa ki rancle ni juga sih, jadi cungsun tadi ini dia kerja lamjer sih, tiapre. The next two stanzas. Stanza 16 and stanza 17, both found on page 26, describe um, how to bring what are called the two intolerables onto the path. And the two intolerables are two things uh, that we normally in the world find unbearable or intolerable. The first of these, uh, stanza 16, describes a situation of betrayal. It says, even if someone I cared for like my child should act as though I were their enemy, like a mother towards her child stricken with illness, to love them even more is the practice of a bodhisattva. And stanza 17 describes another thing that we normally find intolerable, which is disparagement or disrespect by an equal or supposed inferior. It says, even if someone, my supposed equal or inferior, should belittle me, influenced by pride, I would regard them, like my guru, with respect and place them on the crown of my head. This is the practice of a bodhisattva. That is the idea of the Lord of the Lord. The Lord of the Lord is the one who 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 is the one. Jukuba nyebra chashin roman chibu chibu nam tue pui nao ndo thop kyo rikya Sebe benjo nyingbu meesi ne Kingba meba gya sa la le Sa digi da nyingbu digi jurgu lam do kya Di sungu yabi imbara e shuroka thangbu digi guba lam do kya Karsa guba lam do kya da Dane nyingba digi jorba lam do kya Digi da kandam jurgu nyingbu di Jorba chune ya da Benjur dan benjur dan dia bercuna ada benjur mah kuji nyam cakap bercuna ada kanda ni kalau si kerja ni kalau kerja si cumi ni ya kanda kerja tu si kanda cenderung sem dia ni nyam bercuna nyam selain ayam si ada ni cik kerja langkir si ayam si. Stanza eighteen on the bottom of page twenty six and stanza nineteen on the top of page 27 uh, go together because uh, together they uh, present how to bring the situation of uh, ruination or, or great loss uh, in the case of stanza 18 and um, uh, unprecedented prosperity or acquisition in the case of stanza 19 uh, onto the path. Stanza 18 says even if I were made destitute and constantly berated by everyone around me, struck by grave illness and menaced by evil spirits, it would still be the practice of a bodhisattva to take on the suffering and misdeeds of all others into myself without losing heart. And stanza 19, even if I became uh, renowned and paid respect by everyone, or should I obtain wealth like that of Vaishravana, I would see the wealth of samsara as having no essence. To not have pride in it is the practice of a bodhisattva. The point of these two stanzas viewed together is that regardless of uh, 
whether we experience unaccustomed prosperity or unexpected uh, loss or impoverishment, in either case, we must not let the fluctuation in our circumstances damage our bodhicitta. Rangishadanjaumatuna Dawalamdukia. Kuban Stanzas 20 and 21, uh, both on page 27, also go together because they describe um, how to uh, transform attachment and aversion uh, or hatred uh, to the path. Stanza 20, which concerns uh, overcoming anger or hatred, says, If I do not tame or conquer the enemy of my, which is my own anger, I may subdue external enemies, but they will increase all the more. Therefore, it is the practice of the Bodhisattva to uh, conquer one's own mind stream with the armed forces of loving kindness and compassion. So this is how to overcome anger. And stanza 21, the pleasures of the senses are like salt water. No matter how much uh, you partake, that much will your craving increase. To immediately abandon whatever objects of attachment arise is the practice of a bodhisattva. The point of these two stanzas is that um, obsessive attachment and anger or hatred can uh, both equally ruin or damage our bodhicitta. So the idea here is not to let them do so, but to recognize the problem with uh, each or both of these kleshas and to seek to bring them to the path by not obsessing about the object or stimulus which excites that particular klesha. Diggy, <laughs> These are the sections of the text that describe the cultivation and meditation and post-meditation of relative bodhicitta. And they are followed by a section describing the cultivation of absolute bodhicitta, which I think it would be fine to leave for tomorrow. Really, the bodhicitta that we seek to cultivate is relative bodhicitta. 
Absolute bodhicitta is actually the result. It is the uh, wisdom that realizes emptiness. But that can only come about through the cultivation of relative bodhicitta. So therefore, when we talk about bodhicitta per se, we generally mean relative bodhicitta. Information error, Kandeshe Nimatabata, <laughs> That's Living in this world, in this 20th century, which we come, we've come to call the information age or the information era, um, we are able to see more than ever before um, how interconnected each and every one of us is with each and every other one of us. The intimate and deep connection between each and every person and each and every place in the world and each and every other person and place has become more evident due to our technology and social media and so forth than it ever was. This enables us, therefore, to observe, to see clearly how much of an effect we have on one another, how interconnected we are, what this text calls all beings or all sentient beings, we can reflect upon all beings and how closely each of us is connected to all other beings. That each of us, each person, is not really independent in the sense that our happiness and suffering are very interdependent with the happiness and suffering of others. That and then will increase more suffering and the and the Dunga, the Marine Ditalia, the Dunga, never Mandu on the Arch Mato Begi, that the Dunga de 
这个是一个很大的一个很大的一个很大的一个很大的一个很大的一个很大的一个很大的一个很大的一个很大的一个很大的一个很大的一个很大的一个很大的一个很大的一个很大的一个很大的一个很大的一个很大的一个很大的一个
when we practice it, we're basically it's an act of the imagination. We are imagining taking on the sufferings of others and giving them our happiness. It's essentially entirely imaginary. It is said that great masters are able to actually do this, to actually take on the sufferings of others and actually give others their own happiness and virtue. But for most of us, this is entirely imaginary. It's simply an act, conscious act of the imagination that we do in order to train our minds, to make our minds understanding and empathetic, and also to make ourselves ready to put others first. So basically, the practice, the imagination, uh, the imaginary practice that we do is really preparation for post-meditation. Therefore, if after practicing Tonglen, taking and sending as a meditation practice, when we engage in post-meditation, we turn our backs on it, do exactly the opposite, try to take others' happiness and give them our suffering in exchange, it's simply not going to work. For this training to work, our post-meditation application has to correspond to our meditation practice. Then, uh, Tak,而是我自己，没有忙过去上面那老人的机，看书的，可能，我俩的根本没，就参与什么学习，研究生的，第一个人的，但过去，看书就上课，研究生嘛，就参与什么，参与什么，上课，打上课，互相乱八糟
as a power summer yana, Yamnish, which you get a summer of the Tandy Yasere. Tang around when the Mizeta Yamnes Yamne, Yabruji, Sawarish came woman, Yamne, or a chimney, and Yamne, I or Marva. I don't have much choice. I need to do this. Then you just have tea, Junzen at Dene. What other bados he got to a no choice in Zanta? Then Majera Zero Chiva. That you got to a out of choice. There's a thing I do some of the pentacles you said out of choice. I was a cup diliati. Chagdan Giak, Penanum Yuma Zuzi, Chawada, Chawada, Dawada, Dak, and the Jinian, but the Minyan Balas of Nizumanguji and Yusane, Cup de Yusane, Susuki, excuse with Seche or Taji, Kasuji, Susurkane, Kasuji, excuse Ji, Numo, but Giak, excuse Mangu, Sedi or Mangaji, Gimze Manguji. Yena, only to name Yamleche Kabria, then they will be excused with him. ไม่เอาไปใช่ครับเพราะว่าเราได้ที่ยมบัญญัติเกี่ยวกับการช่วยเป็นเพราะว่าคุกกับเส้นทางยานะช่วยสิ่งที่ไม่เอาไปใช่
And the Ridi Pajre Mikashi Yang expected Chevan and Shinji back and then Dishi to Gamma to Jade to get Chumazo. Chosen and others worried of Jay. Same day of this year, Karasana the Lane Sudumar in Jusana that was Sizia Manguare, Shuloka Manguare. Ting and Sarocha. Tak lama sih ni dah macam ni, tapi kalau tak man dia ada dengan cara cara yang sama tu kan yang mana tu? Yang ni cetu yang mesti ada sahaja. Di sini dia yang orang marwata. Jangan tinggal macam dengan cara cara yang sama tu di sini dia tu jangan. En di sini dia buat kerja kerja la, kerja la di jauh jauh tu baru tu kerja cuma sahaja. En yang sama sama tu di environment dia dapat tu cara yang dia buat tu. And Kashi Samsung Ji Kashuya Loma Kashi Zombie Kadulia or Zhenji Susuji Shego Masam Ne or Zhenji Kashu Daji Maji Hobena Maji Daji Zobachi Vichaki Chimbushan Ta Gombo Long Dun de Chen Ta Ganda Diduji on the US of Shi Ta Inea Loma kasih dan zaman itu sana, anak loma tiada jauh yang sari, anak ngaran jauh yang sari. Kalau siapa bosan berjuang sebagai ni, siapa yang kah mending itu? Nah, tuh mesti cari orang tuh. Ada tuh tuh orang itu, orang itu sana tiga jam sana ni. Ah, tuh siapa mahu sih kita masuk? Now, um, I'm aware that some people may be expecting a more a detailed or extensive um, commentary uh, on these uh, stanzas of the 37 practices. Um, from my own point of view, I was more concerned that we would be able to get through them uh, in the uh, time uh, we have before us. Of course, it would be very easy to simply read through them and not comment on them, but that would not give you uh, material that you could actually uh, work with and use. Teaching for me is a function very much of actually, the... Actually, that is... Okay, no problem. My means something else. Well, what did you mean? What do you mean? Well, we want to know what you mean. <laughs> uh, let's finish. Okay. But the thing about the environment... I will, I will, I will do something. Okay. Don't look me. I just continue. Okay. Um, for me, teaching in general is a function very much of the environment, which includes the, the people, the students who are present. Sometimes, with some groups, I don't even have to think about it. To use a highfalutin term, it, it emerges spontaneously from the space of my mind. And then in other situations, I find that no matter how hard I think, I can't think of a single thing to say about a topic. My mind becomes utterly dark. Yeah, something something like that, almost like that. And actually, I can't hear properly because this, you know, like uh, uh, the sound system is not designed for me; it's for the public. And yes, I think uh, mm, because I a long time I've been in America. Maybe outside of India already, like uh, one year, and America maybe eight or nine months. Long time I didn't have like any teaching on these sort of things. One reason is actually I'm always thinking I'm not qualified to teach anything. This is the, maybe the biggest reason I have. And also, that today, you know, I'm trying to give this explanation of, what is this, 37 practices of body, bodhisattvas. I want to, 
should, should explain very more detailly, more, more detail. But I have one worry that is because it's quite long, I, I can't finish in time. You know, I'm, I have that worry. Actually, that that you know means I'm not qualified teacher. The qualified teacher is not worrying how he's finishing or not. He's he's worrying the practice, not the sort of he's. He will teach, you know, finish his teaching or not. Like he worried about that. Then that means he's not good. That's why. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. That is the woman dying. So now we'll conclude with the dedication and aspirations.
Dolen 